Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn. In this video, we will learn how to use one slicer with multiple selections and display the data in the Power BI report. And these are the three different headings that we are going to see in this video. First, we will see how to use the Power BI slicer visual with multiple selections. Secondly, we will see how to use the slicer visual without control key to select multiple values presented in the slicer visual and finally we will see how to disable the multiple selections in the slicer visual so let's begin with the power bi slicer multiple selections so to check that we have to initially select the slicer visual that is presented in our power bi report after that we have to format that visual and then we have to move to the slicer settings under selection we have few options for single selection multiple selection and so on now we are going to see that for that log into the power bi desktop here and under home tab click on this get data option and in my case it is an excel workbook so click connect from downloads i am going to choose this excel workbook click ok so select the tables that are presented in the excel workbook i am going to select all the three tables called orders returns and uses and click on this where data is loading once the data has been loaded to the model under field field span we can see our table data are presented and in the data view we can view it choose the data view and here you can see the data that are presented in the selected table now go back to the report view choose the slicer visual and also select the table visual now select the slicer visual and in the field span from the order table i am going to drag and drop the customer segment field from the field pan now align the slicer visual now select the table visual align it properly and drag and drop the customer segment profit and sales field from the field pan you simply drag and drop the sales value and profit value now here i am going to increase my font size for both the visuals here you can see select the slicer visual go to the format your visual option expand the slicer setting and expand the selection by default it is enabled for the multiple selection values with control key so in this slicer visual by default it is possible to select the single selection and it is not possible to select multiple selection we have to press the control key from our keyboard and we can choose the mul multiple values that are presented in the slicer visual to filter the data accordingly here you can see based on the filter applied in the slicer visual it displays the values in the table visual this is how we can create and use the power bi slicer with multiple selection in power bi report next we will see power bi slicer multiple select without control as we already saw by default this multiple selection with control option is enabled so to disable it we have to go to the slicer setting selection and we have to disable this option and then we can use it the slicer visual with multiple selection without pressing the control key in our keyboard now we will see how to work with that the same way open the power bi report select the same visual here here i am going to remove this customer segment field and i am going to drag and drop the product category and in the table visual also i am going to drag and drop the product category field here i am going to align it properly so it displays customer segment product category sales and profit value now select this slicer visual and choose format your visual option then expand slicer setting under visual tab expand this selection and disable this multiple select with control key command by default it will be enabled so disable it now go back to the slicer visual here you can see if i select technology in table visual it filters and displays the data only based on the selection in the slicer visual here without pressing the control key we can choose multiple values in the slicer visual in the table visual it filters the and displays the data based on the selection chosen in the slicer visual this is how the power bi multiple select without control works on the power bi desktop in the power bi slicer visual and finally we will see how to disable the multiple selection for the power bi slicer visual in the same way here also we have to disable it under the slicer setting option so we will see how to work with it now select the slicer visual for which you want to disable the multiple select and go to the format your visual option expand the slicer settings expand the selection and you can see by default single select is disabled enable it so that in the slicer visual we cannot select more than one option here you can see it automatically gets changed now so even if i try to select multiple 
values by using control key also it is it will not work just because the single select option is enabled this is how we can disable the multiple selection for the slicer visual in the power bi report with this we came to the end of this video where we have learned how to select multiple values with control key in power bi slicer visual and how to select multiple values without pressing control key for the power bi slicer visual and finally we learned how to disable the multiple selection for the power bi slicer visual in a power bi report thanks for watching this video and these are the free video tutorials that are presented in our youtube channel please check it out and please do subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos thank you